Uh, and the biggest change last week was the change uh, that Google was making to um, the modifiers, right? So um, they dropped the bomb that actually modified broad match would, would be uh, discontinued. Um, so starting um, February, they're kind of um, changing it over. So modified broad match will actually become phrase match. So here you can see, I found this visual pretty helpful. So this is what's, ha what's happening right now. So we have phrase match and we have modified broad as being two different match types. Um, and then starting actually July is when it will be, f when the transition will be fully complete. You won't be able, able to add any modified broad match anymore to your campaigns and it will all be phrase match. Now, what are a couple of um, so I'm still like thinking through, um, figuring out the impact uh, because it's not that phrase match will embody everything that was happening uh, in modified broad match before. So all the match types again are changing, right? Um, so, um, so the exact changes will only be visible in the actual account. We'll have to see, okay, with this new type of phrase match, what kind of... Um, Keywords are we seeing come in? Uh, but a few things are definitely clear. So we're gonna have to review our, our strategy. So um, most of my strategy or uh, a very common thing that I used and recommended uh, in our courses, recommended that, that people use, was to use modified broad match as kind of a keyword research type of thing in your campaigns, right? To kind of let it sit there, let it run. Uh, and when you, when you found like interesting queries to add those as phrase, or exact match to your campaigns. So, right, so I would use mainly the three match types. I would stay away from broad, only in a few cases uh, I would actually use that. Um, but with, uh, with phrase match now, uh, or with modified broad match gone, um, we're kind of left to, um, to phrase match and exact match. So exact match probably will become more important, right? So exact match isn't exact exact anymore, but it's gonna be the best that we have. Um, so exact match are, is gonna be reserved for those queries where we know that we see in our search terms reports where we know um, sales come in uh, and that we kind of wanna single out to make sure that we're uh, getting enough visibility. Well, well it will, phrase match will become the keyword research part. Um, so. Going forward and, and, and um, in these next few weeks, so Google is already rolling out those changes. Um, so what's gonna be important is monitoring your search terms report, um, really looking at which queries are coming in, probably beefing those out. Um, if you were using a phrase match as kind of a um, reserved type of thing and you had it, um, in, in your ad groups, you had ad groups that only had those um, phrase match, kind of time to revise them. Um, consider switching those to uh, maybe exact match. So you keep kind of the, 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 the meaning well, um, because otherwise uh, what will end up happening as well is there will be a lot of duplicate keywords, right? Uh, and you won't necessarily see it because they won't be the, they won't look the same, but it will trigger the same keywords. And that's the main thing that we want to avoid. Um, so it's kind of keeping a good eye on your search terms report. Um, and then second, also um, review some of your account structures already um, and, and see like the impact. Right now it's just about trying to judge like the impact it will have um, and the exact difference uh, there will be between the broad match as we knew it uh, and a phrase match um, as you um, as, as we're learning now.